Hello, our dear community. Welcome to another full stack project. And this means we will be looking at an application with a landing page, a menu, table reservation, and backend linked together. Not only that, but also a full database where everything you will see is stored and fetched. Are you ready to explore this beautiful application? Well, let's dive in. You already guessed that this is a food ordering application, a business ready app that you can download and deploy immediately to start receiving those online orders. This application is rich with a wide range of features, as I will show you in a moment. All the features, including images and texts, can be modified even by a non-tech person. Food orders and customer table reservations have been made super easy to manage from the admin dashboard. You might be curious to know how that works. It's time to take you through, as I promised, of course. So, starting from the front end, or what you might call a landing page, we have this minimalistic and clean layout. Let me scroll down slowly for you. Again guys, all this information can be modified so easily. Let me scroll back to the top and take you through the main features on this page. So we have this section, clean and simple, scrolling down, we come to this simple feature. This is like a presentation of food categories you serve, and each has a button to the menu where you have all these categories again. Back to the main page, we have this simple section. Moving on, we come to the popular items section, so nicely presented, each item with a link to the details page. We're going to get into more details in a minute, just want to show you the landing page features first. Next, we have a review or feedback section, again, simple and nice. Below is a subscription section, anyone can enter their email address, hit this button, and we capture that in the database. Nice, isn't it? In fact, let me enter a test email address. I will show it to you on the email list later. Hit the subscribe button now, done, we shall see it later. Moving on, we have a footer section. Simple stuff down here, location, working hours, and quick links, all right. Let's now open the main feature of this application, the big menu. Now, this is where everything makes sense. We have a simple category filter here that helps to specify our meal of the day. It can be general food, drinks, fast food, cakes or dessert. As you can see, each displays different items. Speaking a lot, I'm already thirsty, so let me grab some drink. I'll go to the drinks category and uh, let's see, maybe this one. View details, yep, looks cold and nice, and we have more items down here. Alright, so let me order two glasses, one for you and myself. Hit the add to cart button. And now we have an item in the cart, our two glasses are there, shall we check out now? Because you've watched till now, let me buy you something more. Click continue ordering. Back to the menu, I know you're a vegan, so I'm buying you this. Let me know who you are in the comments section, vegan or non-vegan. So, we have two items in the cart, 115 on my bill, let's check out. Now, we've details form and our ordered items on the right. We can still remove an item at this point, but I'm not going to. Let me fill the form with some realistic information really quickly. Down here we can select from dining or delivery, I gave them my address so I will select this option. Alright, then click order now. Order received successfully. Thank you! Now if you scroll to the extreme end we have this link, click and it redirects to the login page. Enter your credentials, that's username and password. And click login, loaded up the dashboard for us. We have a nice menu on the left, a summary on the top right. Here it says we have seven orders. Yes, there are seven orders on the list, including our own. As you can see from different statuses up here, ours is still on ordered status. So let's assume you and I are the super administrators or managers. I'll locate this little icon and click to open order details. We have all the information about the order, our two drinks, and your vegetable food. We have order fees here. Scrolling down, here is more details about the customer, and far more down is order notes. This is a very important feature for compliance and accountability. It will help us to know who last updated this order, their name, and date. So let's do it. Scroll back up to update order, change it accordingly. 
Then click this button. Loads up, status changed. If I open the details again, here's an update on the notes too. So efficient tool. Now there's a lot to cover on the dashboard part, like table reservation, menu creation, delivery boys, subscribers list. Here's one we added, forms, including installation guide that I can't cover in one video. But if this video hits a thousand likes and at least 100 create comments, I will definitely create an extended video going over all these features for you guys. Also, if you need this application, it's in three versions, all linked in the video description. Don't hesitate to reach out for any inquiries about this application and see you in another video. Oh wait, don't forget to claim your drink and vegetable food.